Hello, readers. Have you thought about what you can do to help keep our planet healthy? Well, in today's Read Aloud, Miss Fox's class offers us some suggestions on ways to go green, such as taking shorter showers and turning off the lights. Our Read Aloud today is Miss Fox's Class Goes Green by Eileen Spinelli. I'll meet you in the reading corner. Miss Fox's Class Goes Green by Eileen Spinelli. Pictures by Anne Kennedy. The morning Miss Fox came to school on a bicycle, her students were surprised. Does your car have a flat tire? asked Mouse. No, said Miss Fox, but cars pollute the air. I've decided to drive only when I must. I am going green. You don't look sick to me, said Raccoon. Miss Fox chuckled. Going green isn't about being sick. It's about keeping our earth healthy. Who will help? Everyone piped up. Me! Wonderful, said Miss Fox. And then she wrote three things on the blackboard. One, use less stuff. Recycle. Two, use less energy. Three, use less water. Can you do it? asked Miss Fox. We can do it, the students replied. Miss Fox pumped her fist. Yes, we're going green. Frog jumped up. I can use less water, he grinned. I can stop taking showers. Bunny pinched her nose. You will get very stinky. Miss Fox said, Frog doesn't have to stop taking showers. He can just take shorter ones. Squirrel called out. I know how to save paper. No more homework. Miss Fox smiled. That's not going to happen, but you can use both sides of the paper. Mouse said, turn off the lights when we leave a room. Bear had an idea too. Sharpen old crayons. Now you're talking, said Miss Fox. That night, Mouse stepped into the shower. She liked long, sudsy showers with lots of singing. But Mouse was going green, so she took a short shower and sang afterwards. Raccoon was getting ready for bed. Brrr, she said. It's chilly. She thought of asking her mom to turn up the heat. But Raccoon wanted to be green, so she took an extra blanket from the shelf. When Squirrel saw Super Flash Bubble Sold Buzzard Sneakers in Barney's shoe shop, he told his sister, I want those. But Squirrel was green now, so he had second thoughts. There is still a lot of fun and run in my old sneakers. Bunny went to the supermarket with her dad. When her dad started packing groceries in a plastic bag, Bunny said, it takes mucho years for one plastic bag to decompose. The next time Bunny and her dad went shopping, they brought along a bag made of cloth. On Saturday, Young Bear was watching TV. His friend Possum stopped by. Do you want to play ball, she asked. Young Bear grabbed his glove and ran out the door. He was halfway down the street when he remembered something. I forgot to turn off the TV. So what, said Possum. So, I'm going green, said Young Bear. Wait just a minute, I'll be right back. I'll turn off the lights too. Frog went to visit Uncle Toad. Uncle Toad had a scooter in his shed. He was giving it to Frog. Frog couldn't wait to ride that scooter. But Uncle Toad also had old jars and newspapers in his shed, and Frog wanted to be green. I can help you load those into your truck, said Frog. We can take them to the recycling center. 
I can ride the scooter later. At school the next day, Miss Fox's class held a toy swap. I'm tired of my sparkle yo-yo, said Bunny. I'll trade you my umbrella hat, said Raccoon. Who wants my T-Rex mask, asked Squirrel. I'll take that, said Frog. Here's my talking tomato. Day after day, Miss Fox's class made good green choices. They picked up litter from the schoolyard without being told. They planted a tree in honor of Miss Fox's birthday. One morning, the principal showed up at school on a bicycle. Look, Bunny called, Mr. Moose is going green too. The students cheered. The next day, Miss Fox's class had lots of company going green. Now it was the whole school. Wow, Miss Fox's class sure did a lot to help keep our planet clean. Why don't you go give some of their suggestions a try? Thanks for joining me in the Reedy Corner. I'll see you next time.